I will call Sri Yang. Uh, you, you may go by the way. Oh. Uh, we have Sri Yang, uh, engineer, scientist here, Yariv, Jonathan, and Kfir. Please come and show us something that uh, uh, many people spoke here about imagination and exploration. Uh, let you see some example of it, please. Thank you, Professor uh, Ben Israel, for your kind introduction. I'm Yariv. With me are uh, Jonathan and Kfir. And we are uh, truly excited and honored uh, to be on stage today. Uh, in the next few uh, minutes, we, uh, we're going to present space, uh, Team Space AL to you. Uh, up until today, only two countries have soft landed on the moon. The United States, with the famous Apollo missions and previous unmanned surveyor missions, and Russia, with the Luna project. Our vision as Space AL is to make Israel the third country to soft land on the moon. We believe that by putting Israel's flag on the moon, we will uh, open a new age in space science and commercialization in Israel. And we believe that by doing so, we'll be able to attract more uh, children to science, education, and technology. All of that can be done with the Google Lunar X Prize competition. With its goal, of landing an unmanned craft on the moon while transferring images and videos back to Earth. Currently, uh, the prize is $30 million. Uh, there are inside, there are a lot of small prizes. The main prize is $20 million for the first team that manages to land on the moon. There are currently uh, 20 registered groups all over the world. And today is a very special day for us at uh, Team Space AL. Um, Today, we are proud to announce that we are an official team in the Google Lunar X Prize uh, competition. Uh, team Space IL is the only Israeli team and is also a non profit organization, as we call it in Israel, in Amuta. Uh, we plan on contrib contributing profits from the venture uh, to promote scientific education in Israel. Uh, our goal is that in the next two years, the children of Israel will hear about space, IL, and be inspired by it. Uh, we hope that by exposing young uh, children to space and technology, we will help create the next generation of scientific, uh, uh, science and scientific engineers here in Israel. Uh, we are not alone in our vision. Uh, among us, people who believe in us, is uh, ISN Chairman uh, Professor uh, Ben Israel and other uh, companies and academic, academic institutes here in Israel. Among them are the Israeli Aerospace Industries, uh, LB Systems, the Israeli Nano uh, uh, Satellite Association, Gilat Satellites, Plasan, Rimat, Aeronautics, and many other companies. Uh, we are here because uh, the Tel Aviv University believes in us. Uh, with them are the Technion, the Asher uh, Institutes for Space Research, Ben Gurion University, the IDC Herzliya, the Ramon Foundation, and other academic institutes here in Israel. Uh, we're going to talk about the technological concept that we have in mind. Uh, my colleague, Jonathan, will present it for you. Hi, thanks, Yeri. The technological concept at uh, this stage is just, it's just a concept. It, it will evolve as a project progress. But I just want to show you how it will look like, or how we're we hoping it will look like. So we're counting on nanosatellite technology or CubeSats. This satellite is about a soda bowl, so about this size. Um, it uses off the sh commercial off-the-shelf hardware, so it will make it uh, cheap and affordable and also very small. We intend to launch it as a secondary payload or a piggy bag to one of the commercial satellites. And here you can see the Falcon 9, SpaceX Falcon 9 satellites. And attached to it are a few piggy bags on the bottom. Um, this is something very common to do. There are over 100 satellites that we have been launched in as a piggy eggs to primary payloads, and we tend to do the same thing. This drives cost very. This drives the costs uh, down. In here, you can see an X-ray view of the satellite. In here, you can see the electronics box. 
um, which, with the computer and the, in the um, communication and the cameras. And above and below, you can see the fuel tanks. Now, you can think of it as, as a cell phone because most of the hardware that we use is, is installed inside a cell phone. You have the, the camera, you have the computer, you have a radio transmitter there, and the rest is just a propellant tank. So you can see it as, as a cell phone with a propellant tank below. Um, this is uh, something, uh, this is a new technology. I mean, uh, from the Apollo age, things have gone a lot smaller in, in electronics, and we're utilizing this uh, for uh, this uh, endeavor. So we, we plan to launch the satellite as a, as a secondary payload to an orbit around the Earth and use the primary engine shown before to drive ourselves to the moon and land there. Um, we will land similarly to Apollo using rockets to slow us down and, until touchdown and take videos and uh, images of the landing and send it back to Earth. Um, after that, we need to travel 500 meters on the surface of the moon we tend to do that using a single hop. We're going to reignite the main engine and then uh, hop for 500 meters uh, to win the prize, hopefully. Um, we will now speak about budget and timeline. Uh, let's start with the timeline. Uh, we plan to launch our spacecraft in the end of uh, 2012. Uh, till then, we have four major milestones. The first two are design phases. A primary de design and a critical design, which we plan to finish by the end of 2011. Till uh, that date, we, uh, we aim also to create a landing demonstrator, uh, which will enable us to examine our landing control. And the second year, 2012, will include the um, actual uh, build of the spacecraft and the launch. The estimated budget. So uh, we will have um, a much better uh, estimation after we'll finish the design phases, but uh, right now uh, we estimate uh, something in the nano satellite uh, class uh, with a rough estimation of $8 million. And let's uh, talk about space IL advantages. Well, our first advantage is Israel experience in small satellite uh, technology. Okay, what Israel knows to do best is build small satellite. What we want to do is take this advantage and use it in our project, use Israeli technologies and integrate them into our uh, spacecraft. The second, thing, uh, the second thing is focus on the mission. What we want to do is land Israel's flag on the moon. We want to make Israel the third country to soft land on the moon. Okay? We want to use the simplest, most basic solution that will enable us to do this and win the contest. Uh, the third thing is Israel knowledge, human resource, and motivation. We were overwhelmed uh, from the amount of support and uh, uh, volunteering spirit that we received during uh, this project. From the first week, we had around 30 volunteers, experts in uh, propulsion, in communication, business planning that helped us uh, create this technical concept we show you here. And last but not least, the Israeli spirit. The, the belief that Israel can join and win this contest. Uh, we look at it as a national effort where all the companies and the people uh, join together in order to succeed in this goal. This is Space IL. Thank you. Very much. And you're also welcome to be our friends in Facebook, if you would like. Thank you very much to all of you. Thank you.